Right. May I offer a toast? Of course, why not? I don't know. I thought it might be a privilege that was confined to the family. <laughs> well, I can get everyone's attention. I can whistle through my teeth, you know. Well, there's no end to your talents, is there? Hey, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to tell you, this is a private toast. Oh. oh. This one is to the most beautiful girl in the place. Brad, you're supposed to make a toast like that to the bride. I couldn't do that. That wouldn't be honest. I'm serious, Jenny. When I saw you coming down the aisle... I... <sighs> well, did you do what I asked you to? What? You know, putting yourself in Karen's place and me in Larry's. <laughs> Brad, I was concentrating on what Father Gallagher was saying. It was a beautiful ceremony, wasn't it? Yes, if you like traditional ceremonies. You see, I would rather, when we get married, that we write our own vows. So you could make yours a little less restrictive? Now, that's not nice, no. As a matter of fact, I'll make a deal with you. If you agree to marry me, you can, you can put in anything you want. I mean, if you want me to, I don't know, stand on my head in the corner for an hour, you just put it in there and I'll do it. I'd like okay? you to kiss me right now. <laughs> right here with all these people? No one's watching. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll back off, and then I'll pretend that I'm just coming up and greeting you for the first time. I, mean, I, I miss the receiving line, after all, okay? <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Hey, wasn't that a fantastic wedding? Boy, you look beautiful. <laughs>